Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Forensics here at Pentester Academy. In this video I'm going to show you how you can add a very simple timeline table to your database and this will allow you to create some very good reports of your timeline. Earlier we showed you how you could create a report that showed you when everything was modified, when everything was accessed, and when everything was changed separately. So here I'm going to show you a really simple way that you can combine all of that information into one central place. So what I have here is a very simple script. And this script actually is a shell script that is primarily a SQL script. So we start out with shebang, bin bash, and we have our standard usage method defined. And in this case, I only want a database. That's the only parameter I want. And it will go into that database that I've already created, and it will allow me to set up a new table from my files table that I can use for timeline generation. So if you give me less than one parameter, I give you the usage. Otherwise, I run this script, and this is what the script does. Here I have a construct where I say cat less than less than EOF, and what this does is it will cat from here until a line that starts with EOF, and I'm going to cat all of this stuff here and pipe that to MySQL. So here I'm going to run MySQL, and the first parameter I'm going to pass to it is the name of the database that you passed into the script, and I'm going to say, please log in as the root user and prompt me for a password. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table called timeline and it's going to start with one character for an operation either access modified or created incidentally I should point out that for a Linux file system there is no such thing as a create date what we are really saying is a create date is an inode change date. You know, that's something to keep in mind when we look at Linux file systems that it's a little bit different from Windows. Then I have a date to go with that operation, a time to go with that operation, and then a record number. Now record number is going to be a key into my file table. So the files table, I created an auto increment primary key. So every time you put something into that table, it creates a number. And the reason I did this is to make this a lot faster. It also makes your tables not so redundant. You know, if you do a lot of database work, you talk about things like third normal form, which we really don't care about here but we do want it to be reasonably fast. First create the table, and then I insert into the table everything from the files table that involved an access date and time, everything that involved a modification date and time, and everything that involved an inode change or creation date, if you will, event. I insert those three things into the table and what that allows me to do is more easily create a report that's linear and it has the access modification and creation all intermixed so I can go ahead and run this if I go out to a command prompt it's pretty simple to do this so I will go ahead and run my script, which was called create timeline.sh. I will give it my database, 
K's 2015 3 9 it'll prompt me for a password and then off it goes it should create my new timeline table for me and that's done now how do I use it well it's pretty easy to use this in a query and I've actually gone ahead and created another simple script that will allow you to print out a timeline and it works by taking the database again and also a starting date that way you can say I think this incident occurred around this date and this can prevent you from having to go all the way back to the beginning of time you might have some things that were created years ago and that's probably uninteresting to your investigation now of course we'll talk later in this course about how these things could all have been faked but this can be a good starting point so if I look at this script it says shebang bin bash a little usage and I check to make sure that you've passed me enough parameters and I again build a SQL statement in this case I use the same construct cat less than less than EOF pipe that to my SQL and I select operation timeline date timeline time file name permissions user ID group ID from files and timeline where the timeline date is greater than or equal to the date you passed in so the date you passed in I send to stir to date and here's what you passed in and here's the format I expect if you prefer another format feel free to change that and also we need the record number to match between the two tables we need to join them together and I will order this by the timeline date and the timeline time descending so that way the most recent stuff appears at the top so if I were to run this what will I get so I'm going to say print timeline sh case 2015 3-9 and I will give it a start date of March 1st 2015 ask me for my database password and off it goes so now I have my report which normally I would want to capture to a file which I in fact have done and we will look at this file in the next video and do a little bit more investigation as to what happened to this workstation well that's all for this video as always if you're enjoying these videos here at pen tester academy please tell a friend and help us spread the word we'll see you soon